Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and today I want to share with you how I'm putting together a very small unit on pirates and explorers. So the inspiration for this unit actually came from this book right here. It's called Pirateology Guidebook and Model Set and I think that it coordinates with this book right here. And this one has a a pocket here. <laughs> I'll show you what was inside. It, ha it has the materials to build a model pirate ship and then it comes with this booklet right here which is so beautifully written and illustrated with information on pirates and probably a little folklore and probably some some real historical stories as well. And then in the back here it shows how to assemble this pirate ship. So this was the inspiration for this whole unit and I'm gonna show you the pirate ship that my 10 year old made and then he asked me to make these little peg dolls to go along with it so I used the book by Margaret Bloom in order to get inspiration she didn't make these exactly like this <laughs> she made hers far better but anyway we went ahead and made a few and then we also made a crow's nest right here and it's a little hard to see I'll show you some pictures at the end of this video so that you can get a better idea of this but it's made out of the like the cardboard like it could bend yes I still have paint on my hands from when I made the peg dolls uh, and here's another one and let me just show you the third one really quickly because he has a little key on him, which is kind of cool. Frowny face. So this is, this is not, like, this could get ruined. It's just really sturdy cardboard, but it could get ruined. But my, my children definitely want to play with it. And it's, it was just, it's spectacular. It took about 40 minutes to make. And what we'll do next is go through this book and and read up on it because now we have we have something although they'll, they'll play with it a lot so let me backtrack a little bit and tell you how I actually work on on all of my units what I begin with when I'm going to work on my units generally I'll go through and I'll collect the resources that I want the books the games the historical fiction the biographies this one came about a little bit differently because I already had these things in my schoolroom so I really just need to go and and pull the books that I needed and the games that I needed and then the the other thing that I always use when lesson planning are these full back sticky post-its. They've got stickiness all the way through and um, a pen or a pencil. And what I do is I'll go through and put the full back stickies on the back of the books that we're going to read, not usually on the games. And then I'll write on here, you know, for this particular book, the sections that we want to read, how long we think it's going to take. And then once I've done that with all of the books, then I will transfer it into my lesson plans. Now we're doing things a little bit differently this year. I usually lesson plan on the computer, but it, for the last like several months, I've just been using a composition book and you can get this at the dollar store. And, uh, and and then this is where my lesson plan is going to be. So I put Pirate and Explorer's Unit. I put one to two weeks. You know, I wasn't sure exactly. I put the games that we wanted to play. And then I had the books and I figured I'll just put it Monday through Friday, which is a little different than what I normally do. So I went ahead and I put the different books that we could read and then Friday kind of like a makeup day or go to the library. I also put the projects that I wanted to do with the kids. And then in the kitchen, I thought we could do like some clam chowder or seafood bisque and then the last thing I thought we could do we could maybe make a pirate suit or maybe at least an eye patch all right so the books that we have this one in particular is a really beautiful book that has like a compass on the front and then on every page there is a flap or some kind of movable part to the book that you can explore. It's a lot of fun for the children to go through. Probably not suitable for really young children or toddlers because the, these pieces would easily get ripped apart. So this has information on pirates, it has some information on explorers, 
And I, I particularly like this page here where you can practice tying knots. I thought that was kind of neat. So I like all of these little pieces and so do the kids. Now this is information rich. It is not a book that I would read cover to cover in one sitting, even though it's on my lesson plan to tackle this book in one day. I would break this up either over the period of a whole day or a couple of days. And as you read through it, you might consider doing some projects. All right, so the other book that I have is this one called Pirates by John Matthews and it also has a few interactive bits to this to this book but not as much as the previous book it also has some modern day references to like movies Pirates of the Caribbean it has a nice amount of information now I also set this one up for one day but this you could do over the course of an entire week since this was a smaller unit I did not want to spread it out over too many days and weeks because we do have other units that we are getting to I want to show you this game now my sister gave us this game years ago my kids still really like it. it's called Dread Pirate and it is just packaged beautifully and this is a fun game that has like a pirate map and then you get the the treasure and look at these pieces they're so well made it's like just it's a work of art really and then these really beautiful wooden dice and then the pieces the cards and then the treasure so my kids have enjoyed this game for many years and of course no unit on pirates would be complete if we didn't add this game to it now we wanted to make this a little bit more historical and so i have included in this unit a couple of games as well as a book on exploration and what i have for this because this has we use this book in three units. We use it with our Middle Ages, with our Columbus, and now with our Explorers and Pirates unit. So I just put to read about three Explorers. Since a lot of these Explorers explored on a boat, and one of the problems that they would likely encounter are pirates. And so if we can just read three of those, I think that would be a good addition to this unit. Professor Noggins is a really fun card game. This one is the Explorer's Game. And this one, this one would cover a lot of different time periods. So what you could do is just pull out the ones that relate to uh, ex exploration on boats or the time period that you want to study in conjunction with the pirates. So you can just pull out the ones that relate to the topic that you are studying so that you don't have to go through all of the cards when you're playing this game. It's a really great game to add to any unit. We really enjoy them a lot. So way back when in history, I, I have this with this unit so that we can just focus on the these questions up at the top here that, that relate to the explorers. And that's just to add one more game that's more educational rather than just fun to our unit okay so there aren't going to be a lot of tutorials related to this unit study but you can see tutorials on these little peg dolls as well as seafood bisque all right thanks for watching